Today we are going to make the wolf. All the pieces have numbers on. Match the numbers to know where they go. Pay close attention to the video to know the direction in which the pieces fit together. Match slots one and one and fit them together. Add the piece that contains slot two. Use glue to secure it into place. The piece containing slots 3 and 4 is part of the tail. It goes towards the back of the wolf. Again, use glue to secure it into place. Piece 5 forms part of the body of the wolf. It fits to the rest of the structure. Use glue to secure it into place. Make sure that the numbers are always facing outwards. Piece 6 is a mirror image of piece 5. It goes on the opposite side of the wolf. And again, the numbers should face outwards when you glue it to the body. Repeat the process for pieces 7 and 8. They bulk up the body a little bit more and the pieces need to be glued on facing outwards with the numbers. Pieces 9 and 10 are also symmetrical and they will lock the body pieces into place. Piece 11 forms the spine and the tail. It will lock the rest of the structure into place. It goes all the way across the body and the tail pokes out at the back. Glue and press it into place. Put the body down for a while. Now we're going to work on the head. The piece that contains 13 and 14 will slot together to start to form the head. Use slots 13 and 14 to slot the head into the rest of the body. Pieces 16 to 22 will all slot and glue into this one little piece. Remember that the numbers always face the outside when you are deciding which way to put the pieces for the head. Glue them into place once you have established the order. Pieces 23, 24 and 25 will form part of the wolf's pack and they should just slot into a previous piece you've already put in. Use glue to secure them. Next we are going to work on the tail section. Slot this entire piece through the back of the tail.
next pieces will fix into it. Pieces 27 and 28 will finish the tail off. Slot them into place. Now let's get to work on the front leg. Pay close attention to the direction of the pieces. The inside of the leg that says 29 should slot in to the other locking piece that says 29. It should look like the image in the video shown. Add the rest of the leg, piece 30. Make sure that the numbers are always facing outwards. Glue the inside part of the leg as shown into place. Piece with slot number 31 will lock the leg pieces into place. Use glue to secure this. Now the leg is ready to attach to the rest of the body at slot number 32. Lock the leg into place, use glue to secure it. Now let's repeat all that again for the other front leg. Use the locking piece with slots 33, 34, 35 and 36. Get the piece of the leg that says 33 and use the inside of it again to slot together with the locking mechanism. Add the outer body of the leg with the slot number 34 on it. Glue it into place. The piece with slot 35 will finish the leg and lock it all into place. And you can attach it to the rest of the body that like you did with the other one. Now let's start on the back legs. They work similarly to how we did the front legs. The locking mechanisms look ever so slightly different, but they work in the same way. Use the inside of the back leg and slot at slot number 37. Add the outer part of the back leg, slot number 38, and the locking mechanism, slot number 39. Attach the back leg to the rest of the body at slot number 40. Use glue to secure it. We're going to repeat this process for the final back leg. Use the locking mechanism and slots number 41, 42, 43 and 44. Start by gluing in the inner part of the leg, then the outer part of the leg at slot 42 and then the lock at slot 43.
attach the back leg to the last slot in the body of the wolf. Paint your wolf and then dress it in fur using the wool provided.